Heroes go undercover in Adamantium Agenda Issue 1. Years ago in Tribeca, New York, some of the new Avengers arrive to help S.H.I.E.L.D. deal with a bomb. They find that the bomb can't be moved, or it will go off and the blast radius currently is at a mile. But if the handle on the bomb is held down, the radius goes down to 200 feet. The team realize someone needs to flick the switch and learn from the technician that there has to be a living person to flick it since it needs bioelectricity to be recognized. Jessica Jones realizes someone built this bomb as a hero killer since they expected a hero to be the one to hold the handle down and blow up with the bomb. Spider-Man says that he could do it, but Wolverine stops him, saying he's impervious, whereas Spider-Man isn't. Luke Cage says that he could do it, but again, Logan says that he's not completely invincible. Logan tells his friends that nothing's killed him yet, and Luke and Jessica have a child to look after, so he will take responsibility for the bomb. The team gets clear of the building as Wolverine grabs the handle and pushes down, blowing himself and the building up with the bomb. In the aftermath, Iron Man arrives, going through the radiation zone to help find Logan. In the present, Tony comes to visit Logan's grave. Meeting with Kitty, he says that he owes Logan for what he did in Tribeca and promised he would protect his body. Kitty wonders if he's got any leads and he says he might, but he needs to make a call first. Elsewhere, Spider-Man fights the Vulture when he gets a call from Tony. Finishing his battle with Vulture, Spider-Man learns that Logan's body is missing and that along with Tony, Jessica and Luke, he promised to find Logan's missing body and help him. Tony says that he's keeping an eye on the black market and his contact told him of an upcoming auction, which the star attraction is someone's entire genetic code. While he doesn't know whose genetic code it is, the timing is very suspicious, so he wants to get the team back together to find out what it is. Meeting up with the others, Tony takes them to the coast of Guam, where they find a submarine waiting for them. Giving them all masks, Tony and the three heroes head into the auction. After a short wait in a private room, they are met by some guards, who stop all of them from leaving. Jessica and Luke attack the two guards, and the guards say that only one bidder is allowed in the auction room at a time. The team sort out who is going and choose Tony, who tells the team to listen in on their open comms channel so they can hear the bids. Heading into the room full of dangerous villains and weapons, the auction begins and the main item is unveiled at the auction. The auctioneer says that he has the entire DNA sequence for Danielle Cage, Luke and Jessica's daughter, which surprises Luke and pisses Jessica off big time. Adamantium Agenda Issue 1 was the second tie-in for Hunt for Wolverine, which sees some of Wolverine's old Avengers teams get back together to help find the missing hero. This one had the kind of new Avengers team that he was on there for a minute sort of get back together or get partly back together to help him. And I really like how much this issue showed how much Logan kind of means to these heroes and how he's sort of touched all of their lives in one way or another and they all kind of owe him for dying in their places and in various situations. I really enjoyed the character interactions throughout this issue and the pairing up of this team is really cool. It's really great to see this form of New Avengers back together. Making this setting for this book a sort of underground auction house is pretty cool and sort of like a mystery, kind of similar to Weapon Lost, but this one is slightly more superhero based, whereas that one's more crime detective. On top of that, we also kind of get the end of this issue, you see more to deal with Luke and Jessica's child, which is very interesting. Uh, we haven't seen Danielle Cage for a while, uh, at least not in any of the books I've been reading. So I'm very excited to see how this all ties into the hunt for Wolverine. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comic comics and trades, head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.